What is the best piece of advice you tell your younger self? If you were to go back to high school or college, what would you tell your younger self? My younger self? Yes, sir. Not to fuck with this life. Why? I'll tell you what. You know what? I have one, one better. Yes, sir. My younger self would be like telling them to be patient, right? See, when you're young, you feel like when things happen, you're just freaking out. Yeah. You know, it's like you feel like it's the end of the world. It's yeah. like, you know, shit is happening. It's like, oh, my God. This is it. I'm gonna... No. You get to just actually, you do get through it. And you get to the other side. And you get to the, you know... Life happens. That's what it is. Shit is always going to happen. Yeah. It just shouldn't be freaking out. That's probably what it would be. I love that. And I just have to be keep... patient. Just a couple last questions. Uh, we started the media channel at, at our college and we grew to try and help younger people get the perspectives from people all over the country. But what industry did you decide to pursue a career in? I changed career three times. Okay. I actually changed majors three times. Yeah. So first I wanted it. My parents wanted me to do engineering. Then I thought it would be cool to actually be an architect. But guess where I ended up? In parking. Yes. Okay. Never thought or dreamed of that I would actually own a parking company. Wow, like parking garages or... Exactly. Kind of Have wow. you ever gone to a garage and used your access card to pay yeah. or a credit card? Yeah. Thank you for your business. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so um, as an entrepreneur, what is your best piece of advice to someone wanting to start a business in 2022? What I would tell them is this. Uh, a lot of people feel and think that actually owning a business or running a business, you need capital. They think that that's the key, capital. No, it's time. The time you put into your business, that's what matters. If a person is working eight hours or putting in their business, someone puts in 16, are you gonna be better than him? Yeah. It's Friday night. It's what, 5.30 right now? I've been up since five o'clock in the morning. I'm here in downtown taking care of my business. Wow. So time, the time that you put into your business, that's what makes you successful. Wow. Not the amount of money. Yeah. And my last question is for younger people, especially today, whether it's a certain skill set or attribute for someone to possess when going out into the real world, how can someone become financially free in 2022? You want to be financially free in 2022. Whether it's a skill set or a mindset or an attribute that people should, should equip. The skill set and the mindset, if you want to be financially free in 2022 and beyond, learn how to sell. You know, it's, um, it's a skill set that you would need in everything that you do in life. Not everybody have that capability to walk up to a total stranger and start talking to them. That's the art of selling something. So if you master that skill, I mean, you could be a writer, but if you are a writer and you want to sell your books, you got to learn how to sell, correct? Yes, sir. I can be a parking attendant, but if I want to get clients, I got to learn how to sell my business. So the art of selling, I think, is something that must be mastered.